Migrating your WordPress website to a new web hosting is just a lot of hassle. And I've done it many times in the past and every time there's some issue with the most popular migration plugins. Not pointing any fingers specifically. But this time I decided to use a plugin that works very differently and doesn't have any restrictions when it comes to website file size. I think it goes up to 200 gigabytes or something like that. <laughs> Hello to the people, my name is Robert and we will migrate a WordPress website to a new host in five easy steps. Just as precaution, I do recommend you back up your current website before you start. So if there's anything, if anything goes wrong, you can always go back to what you had. Okay, the first step is to log into your old host WordPress dashboard and install a plugin. So this is the WordPress dashboard of my old web hosting. So here we need to go into plugins and then just uh, add new. And hey, just to make sure that the plugin works correctly, you need to disable some of the plugins we have. So if you have Cloudflare, I would just log into Cloudflare and just uh, pause it for a while while doing this. And also if you have any kind of a plugin that is actually for uh, security purposes. So that's like WordFans or any of the other uh, security plugins. Just disable it for this time and then enable them as soon as uh, we are done with this migration. And then in the search field, just type in migrate. And then we need to find this migrate guru. So install it. Let's activate this plugin. So I'm going to enter my email address here and then I'm going to agree to this and then just click on migrate site. Here you could choose one of these uh, pre-built uh, settings, but, but for this tutorial, I'm going to use other hosts because that will work on any web host. And here, if we were just moving this website from one domain to another, then this would be super easy because we could just use this migration key. We'd, we would install the same plugin on the new host and then use this migration key. But since we're going to use the same domain name, it gets a little bit trickier, not by much though. So what you need to do here is actually click on the manual input host details. So here you have a bit more fields to fill in instead of just one field. Now we can go ahead and set up WordPress on SiteGround. So SiteGround is the new web hosting. So let's do that next. For second step, we need to install WordPress on the new web host. And if you don't have a new web host yet, then I suggest you sign up with SiteGround because a lot of people love them, myself included. They have fast servers, great offers and top of the class customer support. Just scroll down and click on the first link in the video description to sign up. This way you can just follow along this tutorial and SiteGround is anyway one of the best uh, uh, hosting providers you can get. But if you chose another web host, no worries, this will work on any web hosting because the process is pretty much the same for all of them. And once you sign up, you land on this page, this is your homepage. We need to first of all, make sure that we have a site where to migrate. We need to create a WordPress website. I'm going to choose here that I already have existing domain because that's already true. In my case, it will be my main website. I click on continue. And I want to make sure that my data center is uh, somewhere close to my readers. In this case, most of them are in the US. I'm going to just select Texas for this one, confirm. And I'm going to start a new website. So select from here and it's going to be WordPress. So let's create a setup login. This doesn't really matter because later we're just going to use our credentials from our old web host. So whatever you've set up for your WordPress, you're going to use those same credentials uh, once the migration is done. Right now it takes a few minutes to create the website. So I'm going to pause the video until then. All right, now it's done. And from here we can see some of important information. Like we're going to need this DNS settings a, a bit later. So you could now just copy these two, for example, to your um, notepad or something like that, like this. And let's go to the site tools. And then if I go to WordPress, install and manage. On this page, you'll notice if I scroll down, we have here a new WordPress setup. And if I click it, if I open up the admin panel right now, 
it actually won't work that well because this is still on the old uh, web hosting. So it's trying to log in to the ve old web hosting because that's where our domain name is pointing right now. The third step is to provide the migration guru with a few pieces of information so it can migrate your website to the new host. Okay, so let's fix this so that we can actually see the right website. So inside ground, I'm just gonna close this tab. Inside ground, what we need to do is now provide some information for the plugin. So first of all, it's asking for the destination site URL. So let's enter that. In my case, it is my domain name, my main one, pointsteller.com. Then we have the FTP, and then we need the server IP. Server IP, you, in SiteGround, you can create, get it quite easy going to dashboard. And in other um, web hosting services, you can do similar. It's usually quite visible somewhere, either in the dashboard or maybe something in, in, about the website itself. Another example, cPanel and the IP address is just here. You see shared IP address. It, it's usually quite visible. So inside ground, I just scroll down here in the dashboard and I see already IP address here. So I'm just gonna copy it and then paste it in here. Port, you can just keep it as default. And then we need this FTP user and password. It's quite easy to set up. You just go again to your site ground and here you have sites. So if you open up sites, you have FTP accounts. In here, you can just create a new FTP account. And for example, in cPanel, same thing. It's usually somewhere here under files or something here. You see FTP accounts. You would create the FTP account here in cPanel. But again, going back to SiteGround here, we can create the FTP account just by giving a name. And then I'm going to generate a password like this. Great, and I'm going to create it. Now I'm just going to go back to this uh, plugin, paste in the password and the username. In this case, it's the email address you can see here. Let's grab that whole thing like this. Then we have the directory path. And in this case, what you need to go in SiteGround, you go to File Manager and then click on the domain name you can see here. So this is the folder. I click on the domain name I'm going to install. And then if I click on public HTML, usually it's inside that. You can see if you see inside the public HTML folder, WP admin content and includes, that means this is the where our WordPress is installed. Same thing in cPanel, you would go to file manager and find it similar way. So here on the left, you would just search for your domain name. In my case, I don't have the domain name, but I do have public HTML. So then here you can see the same files appear again. And to get the path here, you just scroll up and you have here public HTML. That's all I need to enter in the field. Let's close this and go back to side ground. So what we need to do here is actually copy this part. So this first part, so this is uh, the domain name. So first forward slash, and then the domain name, again, forward slash. And if I go back here, I can now copy this part as well. So public underscore HTML, I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay, let's just check the details. Oh, hey, here I recommend you put HTTPS and then this part so that you for sure get the SSL certificate correctly. So just add this part to your uh, destination site URL. And I think then we are ready to go. Let's click on migrate. Now it's take, checking that it can connect to both of the servers. So to your old web hosting and to the new one. In, an, in about 30 seconds, it starts doing its job. You can see that it's migrating from HTTPS to HTTPS That's good. That's what we want. We want a one on one uh, migration. So I'm going to pause this video for a while while it actually uh, transfers all these files. Okay, this took maybe 10 minutes to migrate. My website is actually quite big. And uh, now if we click on visit site, we're actually not going to see much because it's still on the old web hosting. So it's exactly the same. We won't even know the difference. The fourth step is to change the DNS settings of your domain name. So it points to the new host instead of the old one. If that sounds scary, don't worry, it's actually pretty simple. So right now the domain name is pointing to the old web host, but we need to actually show the new web host. 
To do this, we need to change the name servers in the DNS settings of your domain name. Think of name servers just like an address, but for web servers. So we just need to change the address from the old web host to the new one. Just so you know, uh, migrating web hosts will not move your domain name to a new domain registrar. If you need to do that, then check out this video right here after you complete this host migration and you actually can move the domain name from your current domain registrar to a new one. So I'm here in my domain registrar, which is named cheap and I've gone to domain list and then I clicked on manage next to the punchseller.com. And now here, if I scroll down, I have the name servers. Now yours might say name cheap basic DNS. You just change it to custom DNS and here just update this, whatever it is here to the new ones that the SiteGround gave you. If you don't know where to find them, you can just go to back to the SiteGround. And here, if you scroll down, you're in dashboard and scroll down, you have also name servers here. So now I can grab the second one and then go back here, go back here and I'll update the other one and just add the number two here. Now I'm going to click on the save button. And now you can see that it tells you that it might take up to 48 hours to take an effect. Usually it's within five to 15 minutes. Uh, if in rare cases, it will take longer. Now this is Namecheap. So if you use GoDaddy or something else, you just need to find the DNS settings inside of your domain registrar. Easiest way is to just go to Google. You just search for the GoDaddy uh, DNS settings and it should give you a way to find them. And you would do the same. You just update the name servers to these two. And last step is to test if what we did actually worked. This is a really important step because you might be wasting time and updating stuff on your old web host while thinking it's on the new one. And it's really hard to tell uh, apart because the domain name and the website are identical. So let's just uh, test that. So how would you know that the migration is actually done, that the DNS settings have updated? Since we have the same domain name, it's a bit hard to say. So I found it the most reliable way is to go to your file manager and inside the punchsalad.com, so in, inside of the domain name I have created, I go to the public HTML folder and where I see WP admin and content. So now I create here a new folder called just test and I'm going to confirm it. And inside this folder test, I'm going to create a new file called test.html like this, and then I'll confirm it. And if we go inside of this, we can just add hello and then save this file. Now you can go to your website. So you go to your type in your URL for your website, for your domain name, and then, then you add forward slash test and again test.html like this. If you see this error page, it just means that you're still on the old web host. If you see this, then keep refreshing the page every five minutes or so until you see this white page with text hello, which is good. This is the test page we set up and now we are 100% sure that we are fully moved to SiteGround. Now, some regions, so if somebody is in India and uh, you've set it up in the US, in India, they might still see your old website, but that will change within the next 48 hours. That's a guarantee. But once you see this, this is good. Now we can go back to the uh, tools in SiteGround. And what we need to do here is actually go to security. And then we here we have SSL manager. So if we click on that, we need to create a new SSL certificate. Now one, you just need to create it once and once you set it up, it just gonna renew it itself. But here we can choose the domain. I only have one, choose the type of SSL we're gonna install. Now it already automatically installed the Let's Encrypt one. If this is case for you, then it's great. Just keep it that way and uh, you don't need to do anything else. You don't see this, you just select this and then click on get. And then within five to 10 minutes, you'll have a SSL certificate. And also in SiteGround, you can just go to FTP accounts and just delete this uh, account. Click on these three dots and then delete it because you're not going to need it anymore. Now that you moved your WordPress site to new host, how about making it super fast just with one plugin? Click on this video right here and see how I was able to achieve 90 plus Google PageSpeed score in just 10 minutes.